Kind of clever. I've taken practical jokes to a whole other level. Started out as a prank, but then got way out of hand. See, now the whole town shouting, hey, hey what's, what's with Andy? I'm the best, I'm the greatest joke. Whoa, everybody says, what's, what's with Andy? What, what, what's with Andy? I'm a trick playing gangster. And all the everybody says, what's with Andy? What, what, what's with Andy? Okay, here's the plan. My stupid sister Jen is about to do her flashiest cheerleading stunt, the triple pyramid. I'm about to make it a surprise quadruple pyramid and make myself king of the school. Because that's what I do. And this will totally impress Glory Mackney. Okay, we got game, we're so hot. Come on, Craig, sing this shot. Yay! That's my cue, Danny. Get ready. He's going to be a hero someday. Either that or committed to an institution of some kind. Either way, it'll be exciting. Whoops. No. My brother is such a freak. Thanks for making me miss that shot, butt munch. But, but, but. That's what I'm about to kick. When are you going to grow up? Uh? I don't get it. I plot, I plan, I calculate for all the variables, and still, still I end up in my underpants. Everyone has an off day. Yeah, well, including yesterday, I've had more than one off day. By now, the entire school has seen me pantsed. Good thing Mom does my laundry. We're all thankful for that. I'm not gonna let this stand. If I'm gonna be the greatest prankster in the world, I need revenge. Sweet revenge. But how? Whatever it is, I'll be right behind you. Unless you're in your underpants. In which case, I'll be a few feet further back. So because Andy totally ruined the team spirit of the entire school with his childish actions... Quack, 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 quack. Andrew! Pay attention! Oh. In this family, we practice active listening. Looks pretty active to me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I convinced DeRosa to authorize an all-school pep rally tomorrow afternoon. An all-school rally? Tomorrow? That's what I said, Nerf Herder. We'll be giving out a Best School Spirit Award, and a photographer's gonna take a picture of the whole student body as a spirit booster. My idea. An all-school pep rally, huh. And if you mess it up, I'll perforate you. Mess it up? Moi? I wouldn't dream of it. No, really. Ah! It's the perfect venue for my revenge prank. Now, I just need the prank. Mm-hmm. Dancing in the entire school is a pretty tall order. I know, but I made a sacred vow. This could be huge. I gotta do it. Okay, AL. Stand back and prepare to be amazed. Delivery! Oh, is this my pizza? Ah! You don't have to tip extra for the presentation. It's on the house. Why, thank you. Is it safe to eat? Of course. Just not near an open flame. Pretty tight, huh? It's my own invention. A remote control latch puts a little pizzazz in the presentation, don't you think? A little? This is great! This is amazing! How'd you think of it? I tinker. her. Do you realize that you pointed the way towards the perfect prank and could single-handedly change the course of the history of displaying underpants in public? Whoa. Cool. <laughs> So the people at the pants store think I'm crazy, but I got them all. How's it coming? Uh -huh. <gasps> Danny, meet the East Dackel School Spirit Belt to be sold before the pep rally tomorrow to our spirited student body. The best part is they've got a special remote control feature installed. <laughs> Check, Check, please. <laughs> all right, dork face, what is this? I'm just trying to make amends for my inconsiderate actions and show the school how spirited I am. You actually think you're going to sell those stupid trinkets? <laughs> As if anyone here is dumb enough to buy one. Really? All I have to do is sell one to the right person and all the other students will clamor to have one. In your dreams? Spirit belt? Oh, the penguin is so cute. I'll take one. <gasps> Terry! 
Hey, cool! Spirit belts! Give me one! Hey, everyone! Craig and Terry just bought spirit belts. We should have them, too. <laughs> Hand them over. Oh, no. Uh, please don't hurt me. I'll be happy to give you complimentary belts. That's better. I gotta hand it to you. The prank is totally on schedule. Right on. Now to set the timer and find the perfect place to hide it. I hope Custodian Clyde won't mind if we borrow a bit of his closet space. Now, at the precise moment the all-school photo is taken, the device will send a signal to unlatch every buckle on every belt and... Total depensification! This is gonna be huge! Nothing can go wrong! Except that! Oh no, how did Lori Mackney get a belt? I can't pants Lori. Hey, Lori. Hey, Andy Larkin. I see you've got a spirit belt. Funny, I don't remember selling it to you. Ellen bought it for me, and I'm totally impressed that you're trying to make amends for, well, everything. I think this is very cool and sweet of you, as long as it's not another stupid prank. Come on, this is for real. Just one problem, your belt is uh, d defective. I've got a better one right here for you, for free. No, I don't want you to treat me any differently just because you like me. Even if I maybe like you too. See you later. She likes me? I knew it. But she still has a spirit belt. And Lori's the last person in the world I want to pants. I gotta get that belt. But how? How? Hey, hey! Keep your pants on. Sorry. Figure of speech. Uh, let, let's see. Lori can't wear the belt all the time, can she? Hmm. Ah! Is this really the best plan? It could go wrong in so many ways. Are you kidding? Sneaking her belt out of her locker is a great idea. Hmm? Let them have it, ladies! <sighs> we made it. Okay, quick, let's find Lori's locker. We'll never find the belt in time. Never say never. Keep looking. Girls make spitballs too? Did not know that. Okay, girls. The pep rally starts in just a few minutes. Hit the showers. It's not here. We'll find it, Danny. We'll ah! Find it. Ah! Andy Larkin, what are you doing here? Now are you gonna cancel a prank? No, Andy Larkin is not a prank canceler. <laughs> what do I care if Lori is pantsed? She'll probably be in the back row of the picture anyway, right? Attention students, the all-school photo will be taken in five minutes. And, as school president, I am honored to announce the winner of the Spirit Prize who gets to stand front and center. Congratulations, Lori Mackney! Conspirator! All right, switch to plan C. Um, what were plans A and B? My depancing device. It's gone and I have to defuse it. Okay, it's gotta be here somewhere. Where's my device? You've gotta tell me, where is it? Device? Oh, you mean that funny radio? Um, let's see. Gave it to Mr. Hutchins. I gave it to Mrs. Woomer, I think. No! Don't worry, hon. You can pick it up after school. After school? I'll be dead after school! I've got to save Lori's pants! Lori's pants? Oh, those crazy teens and their wacky lingo. I wonder what he really means.
wasn't perfect, but it went pretty well, don't you think? I pants the entire school, I ruined the pep rally, and I saved Laurie's pants. And luckily, you were wearing your backup briefs. Always thinking. That's me. So, how long you think they're gonna keep us up here? Well, they'll have to let us down sometime soon. Won't they? <gasps> Hello? A little help? <laughs> It's 8.15 in the morning. Any second now, my mom's gonna burst into my room and demand I get up and get dressed. But I'm not going to. You wanna know why? Cause I'm dead. Stop that! I'm not really dead. I'm just acting, which is a lot harder than you think. I can't blink, I can't scratch, I can't even go to the bathroom. You wanna know why I'm going through all this trouble? The dunk tank? You volunteered me for the dunk tank? It's for a good cause, sweetie. Last year's carnival raised over $500 for the school. So, can I just write a check? Very funny, Andy. Now go be a dear and bring me your bathing suit so I can wash it for tomorrow. That won't be necessary, Mom, since I'm not getting into that dunk tank. Think of it as an alternative to taking a shower. I promise you, I will not get dunked tomorrow. Well, we'll just see about that. You all heard it. She challenged me. I can't back down now, even if it means faking my own death. Showtime. Andy, Andy, wake up. We're late for the fundraiser. Did you hear me? Holy buttons, it stinks in here. When was the last time you cleaned your room? Andy! This is the same shirt you wore the last three days. She didn't even notice. Her only son lying dead, and all she can think about is dirty laundry. Andy? Now stop fooling around, son. He's looking for a pulse. I anticipated that. That's why I'm slowing down my heart like the holy men in India do. Come on, heart. Slow down. Andy, if this is one of your jokes, I strongly suggest you give up now, or you're looking at serious trouble. What is it? Is he all right? I wish I knew a better way to say this, but... Andy's kicked the bucket. No! Yes! <laughs> I know, I should feel bad for making my mom cry, but she asked for it when she volunteered me for that dunk tank. This is war. And in wars, people cry. What do we do now? Now you leave me the heck alone. Now we bury him. Say what? We bury him out in the backyard. We ought to do it right now. This place is starting to stink. Okay, this is weird. Dad actually dug a hole. Is he really planning on burying me? Am I that good an actor? Don't they even want a second opinion? Whew. Anybody want to say a few words before we plant poor Andy? No. Nope. No way he's really gonna put me in the ground. No way. Okay, he did it. He put me in the ground, but there's absolutely no way he's gonna fill it in with... I can't believe this. I knew I was a first-class actor, but I never knew I was this good. And the award for the best actor faking his own death goes to... Andy Larkin! Of course, there is another possibility. Maybe they know I'm not dead, and they're trying to trick me. He was a good boy. No matter what his teachers and the police said. Yes, I believe he meant well. I believe he was a major pain in the... Oh, all right, all right. He was a good brother. He'll be missed. Wait a second. They could never get Jen to say something nice about me unless it was a trick. They don't really think I'm dead. They just want me to think they think I'm dead. They're trying to outprank the prankster. <laughs> Amateurs. I can keep playing dead until the day I die. Or even longer if I have to. It's taking too long. We don't want to be late for the carnival. Well, what about Andy? I haven't finished burying him. We can't leave him out here for the crows to eat. Well, we could. I guess we don't have any other choice. We'll have to bring him with us. Anybody hungry back there, Jen? Not really. Well, I'm kind of in the mood for a double-stacked Gackle Burger. Gackle Burger? Gackle Burger? 
Who's he kidding? He doesn't even like Gackleburger. I love Gackleburger. So did Andy. It was his favorite restaurant. How are we doing back there, son? Still dead? Ha <laughs> ha. My dad's a real comedian. But now we're going to Gackleburger, my all-time absolute favorite place to eat. How am I going to keep from drooling all over the table? How's your burger, honey? Mmm. Mm. How's yours? <laughs> Too bad you don't have smell o vision If you did, you'd know what kind of torture this is. Mm, this is one delicious burger. Smell it. I have my own. No, smell mine. Must resist. Must be strong. <laughs> this ugly animal looks hungry, but the sign says not to feed him. Oh, well. How's your burger, boy? Well, it's a little underdone. Bit pink inside, but not exactly raw. Stop the yakety yak and pass the ketchup. <gasps> hey, look. That's a 517 if ever I saw one. 517? Boy, 517's a broken tail light. D I meant 520, 50, 90, whatever. It's a homicide. I say we go in. Negative. Let's wait until they dispose of the body. It's a bigger crime. We're here! Time to raise some money for the school. So, you say you've been tricked by Andy Larkin before? You say he toilet papered your house, your car, your dog? He kidnapped your goldfish? Well, now's your chance to get him back. Come on, folks, step right up and dunk the prankster. The whole reason why I'm pretending to be dead is so I won't get dunked. But if I keep playing dead, I will get dunked. So what should I do? Quit? Don't be a quitter, Andy. You can do it. Well, listen to that, Guppy. You can't win. I don't care if I drown. Andy Larkin is no quitter. Wait a second. Won't he get us back if we dunk him? No, no, that's the beauty of it. He can't. He's dead. Right, Andy? See? Nothing. <laughs> Only a dollar a throw, and all the money goes to the school. Come on, let's show some community spirit here. Oh. Well, at least none of these people have decent throwing arms. I mean, look at Mr. Hutchins. He's not making any Olympic teams. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> no! Why did you have to take him? Why not me? What's the plan? I'm dead. Get me the heck out of here. Yeah! Here's a joke. What did Andy say when I told everybody about the time he got his head stuck in the toilet? Nothing! He's dead! That was a confession. Let's move in. Oh, boy. <laughs> I wonder why East Gackle doesn't have a Major League Baseball team. Uh-oh. Oh, really Police! Freeze! Nobody move! The man said freeze! Wait a second. If this is about Andy being dead, well, uh, he's not really dead. Uh, it's just a joke. Right, son? Andy? He sure don't look alive to me. Oh, he's alive. Andy, this is serious. Joke's over. Andy! I'm just waiting for two little magic words. Sir, you're gonna have to come with us. All right, Andy. Enough's enough. You win. Did you hear me? You win! That's all I needed to hear. Huh? Did somebody call a cab? Andy, come back! Hey, stop! You're losing them! what I call a hard break. Ah! Where is he? He was
was just a good old boy. Never meaning no harm. Worst kid I ever saw. Been in trouble with the law since the day he was born. Andy, you're... <gasps> Alive? And grounded for life. Hair's dry. Technically, I wasn't dunked. I rule. Way to stay dry. Pants? Don't mind if I do. Be home later, Mom. Enjoy the carnival! Fox kids, fox kids, fox kids, fox kids.